What's up, YouTube? Silver Dragons here. Today, I'm joined by Silver Seeker. What's up, Silver Seeker? Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are you? Hey, hey. Hey, it's so great to have you on the channel once again. This is a great topic. We're talking about how to not get scammed when buying silver online. Also, just so you guys know, this is a two-part video. The other part will be on Silver Seeker's channel. There'll be a link down below in the description. Make sure you go check that out. Give them a like and a subscribe as well. So let me ask you, Silver Seeker, have you ever bought silver online? <laughs> I think that's very clear that I have, yes. <laughs> have you ever been scammed? Believe it or not, online, no. But I have had issues with packages that didn't arrive and then the seller um, argued with me about you know the fact that it did or they didn't want to replace it. But generally, uh, it happened from an eBay purchase and eBay made sure it was taken care of. Now, since you brought up eBay, I actually want to show you a few eBay listings that are scammers. And I was able to find them pretty easily. And the first thing I want to point out is that if you're buying from eBay, you should not be buying from these small shops who have no ratings at all. Uh, they're located possibly not even in the United States of America, and they're just selling one or two things, but also they're priced too low. Um, those are kind of the things you need to look out for. Is there anything else you think people should kind of keep an eye out for on eBay specifically? I mean, that's a lot of it. You have a lot of silver that's being bought through websites like AliExpress. Uh, I, I shouldn't have said silver. Fake silver coins that are being bought through websites like AliExpress. And then you have scammers who will then turn around and try and sell them on eBay for a profit to someone who doesn't know any better. Yeah, I think um, most of the fake silver is coming from China. And if the seller is based out of China, you can almost guarantee it's going to be fake. I would say if you're going to be buying off eBay, you know, try and buy from one of the big bullion dealers that's also on eBay, right? Because all of the bullion dealers have an eBay shop usually in addition to just their regular website. Right. And that's something to keep an eye on too, is because you will have uh, a lot of those big bullion dealers that will even sell it on their website a little bit cheaper than you can get it for on eBay. So something else to keep an eye out for. And one other thing too about eBay is I know that people have tried to get better deals by using like the eBay cash back. It's called eBay bucks or by using a credit card with cash back and try and kind of work the system, right? Like, oh, I, I think I can save a little money or whatever. I don't know that it always works out to their favor though. Well, the eBay bucks is pretty good, but when you're using like a credit card with cash back, you got to remember that generally on eBay, you're paying a higher price because the people selling on eBay have to pay eBay fees and the credit card fees as well. So even if you are getting that cash back when you use your credit card, if you're paying more to get it, it may not even work out. Some of the other places you can buy silver online are things like um, Facebook, Instagram, you know, there's forums. And I personally have never been outright scammed when I bought something uh, from a private party in that regard. But there was one time where I bought something from someone off of Instagram. I think it was actually a bunch of junk silver and they miscounted. They sent me not enough, right? It was like 50 cents less than it was supposed to be. And I got such a good deal on it that I was kind of like, all right, whatever. It's probably an honest mistake. But, you know, this is people you're dealing with. People can make mistakes, right? Yeah, they can. And uh, as far as getting scammed online, there's uh, I actually have a Discord server. And in our Discord server, we have a buy, sell, and trade room. A while back, it was pretty much anyone who asked for access could have access as long as they, you know, assured us that they were at least 18. It was a very, very trust system, right? You know, trust, no verify. But uh, anyway, we had one guy in there who had actually done some other legitimate deals with other people and everything was fine. But then I guess he ended up needing money or something. And so he sold the same 10th ounce gold eagle to like three different people. And that was a big, uh, that was a big problem that we had to, you know, deal with, which meant that we had to go and tighten down, you know, kind of tighten down the hatches with that after that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and one thing I will say too, is, you know, when you're buying with people online, sometimes there's no recourse, right? Like if you get scammed, you're just out the money. Sometimes they're just a ghost and you'll never find them. Yeah. So one of the ways to prevent that, and I, I hate to recommend PayPal cause I'm not really happy with PayPal right now, but, um, you know, PayPal, whenever you pay with goods and services, you do have what's called buyer protection. So if you don't actually get it, if you can't produce, like if the seller can't produce that he had a package delivered to you and you signed for it or whatever, usually you can get some help that way. But what you have to watch out for, people don't think about, but it definitely can happen, 
is someone can send you an empty package and then you go to PayPal and say, hey, he never sent it to me. And they're like, well, here's tracking showing that he did. You know what I mean? But in reality, all you got was an empty package. There's a lot of ways you can get scammed. And something to think about when you're buying online is just because, like you had mentioned earlier, that, you know, make sure it's priced right. You know, something that's too good to be true probably is not true. But you can definitely have fake silver come to you that you paid full price for as well. In fact, I could even imagine that scammers would list it at regular price, maybe, you know, 20 or 30 cents cheaper than like the next lowest price just to make it look like a legitimate listing. You can still get that fake silver. So what recourse would you have? Let's say you bought some fake silver on eBay, um, but they, you know, you didn't know any better because they listed it at a legitimate price. I mean, what recourse would you have? Yeah, you'd have to go contact eBay and try and get it all figured out. I mean, it would be a total headache. Yeah, it'd be a nightmare. It really would. And it's really your word against his at that point, too, because you can just he can just say, oh, well, I sent him real stuff. What he's showing you isn't what I sent him. You know, I mean, there's so many ways that people can lie and manipulate to take advantage of others, unfortunately. And so you really just have to make sure that you're doing everything you can to be as careful as possible. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one specific incident that I wanted to bring up in this video. So uh, someone actually contacted me. They sent me a DM on Instagram. They said, hey, do you know this dealer? I think I may have gotten scammed from them. And uh, I'll show them on the screen now. Their name is uh, Bullion underscore Land. And they have all these pictures of silver and gold and, and, you know, really great prices, like lower than you can buy anywhere else, which is, seems a little sketchy, but they have a ton of followers. And so you're like, okay, maybe it's a legitimate account, right? But then if you go to their account settings, you can see they're actually located in, uh, in another country. I, I think it's Cameroon or they're located not in America and they have had multiple accounts before. And so there's a lot of red flags there, but also it's just priced too low. I think that's the main thing you need to look at. You know, why are they pricing it so low? Are they trying to trap me? Are they trying to scam me? Or do they really just need to offload it? You know, you kind of need to figure out which one it is, but usually they're trying to scam you. Yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even risk it. It's, it'd be like buying silver from those, you know, something something dot X, Y, Z domains where they steal like videos from YouTubers and put it on there to make it look like they have it in hand and it's all legit. And you can buy 10 silver eagles for, you know, 12 bucks. Yeah, I think some of the big uh, takeaways are, yeah, try and use PayPal goods and services when you can for that added protection. Don't buy from the the, the little guys with no good ratings that are located outside of the USA. Um, but really just, you know, do your research, do your homework, try and be safe. And, uh, I, you know, I guess with anything in life, experience goes a long way. So, you know, the more you buy, the, the more you'll figure out kind of how to do it the right way. Yep. And if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Absolutely. Uh, well, hey, I got to say thank you so much, Silver Seeker, for joining me. And uh, if people want to check out your channel, there'll be a link down below in the description as well as a link to the other half of this video. Awesome, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. And the last thing I want to do is thank all of you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Silver Dragons out.